nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Yeah, so Thank you. my name is Dennis. It's Hi, Dennis. Oles. So we are both connected to, you know, this very uh, Chernobyl area. I was yes. born in the year of the tragedy. Yes. And Oles lived in Pripyat until he was six. No way! And then evacuated from the exclusion zone. Yeah, wow. so. And these yellow ties are Ukrainian yellow ties. Yeah, They're beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well Thank done. You so much. Uh, that's amazing. I'm glad that I'm glad you're here. Honestly, I'm glad you're here. Not everybody made it out, so that's yeah. that's wonderful. So we'd like to express our huge respect, you know, and gratitude. And okay, it's clear that in Eastern Europe, it's uh, the topic is really high. You know, I've got high response and ratings, but. Uh, for me, I was blown away when, like, uh, kind of my friends from uh, South America, from Australia, they they uh, just chat me. You know, is it true Chernobyl was in Ukraine? I, like, so so they all like the this TV show because the suspense is really great. You know, so what uh, were the source of your inspiration? You know, during the research. Uh, I think actually it's about how universal the story is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very specific to the Soviet Union. It's very specific to Ukraine, to Pripyat. But at the same time, it's also about this very human thing, the way governments lie and the way that individual people will rise to challenges and sacrifice themselves for their brothers and their sisters. It's about the way heroes often suffer. Um, and it's a warning to all of us now about the cost of ignoring what is true and pretending that a problem is just going to go away. It does not go away. Uh, concerning us, uh, we all were grown in, you know, in this uh, Soviet atmosphere. But I wonder and curious, what was your first impression when you were uh, a kid, you know, and, and you heard about the tragedy? It's a great question. Yeah. So about three months, almost to the day before the explosion at Chernobyl, yep. the uh, the space shuttle Challenger in the United States exploded. Oh, okay. And it was it was on television. Everybody watched it on TV because they uh, they had selected a teacher to go on board. And so we were all watching and it exploded on television. We all saw it and it was this moment of shock for our country in a sense that for all of our empire building, mm -hmm. we were not safe from these things. So when Chernobyl happened three months later, I remember thinking, well, these people are supposedly our enemy. Yeah. They just experienced something very similar to us, although Chernobyl much worse. Mm -hmm. But this notion of vulnerability as an empire. Mm -hmm. um, and I felt very bad. I felt very bad for the people of um, Ukraine. And frankly, I felt bad for and Belarus. Mm -hmm. And for all the people of the Soviet Union who eventually I learned were conscripted to go there and solve the problem. Yeah. So I felt a great sympathy for, for you know, my fellow human beings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another one question. Uh, when Ukrainian got to know that mostly the TV show was filmed in Lithuania, they yeah. were shocked. What, why? You know, then, sure. then uh, like um, the government uh, um, ex explained that uh, like we didn't have tax rebate. So yeah, but now this year after t uh, TV shows, they accepted, you know. Yes. In fact, I was in um, Kiev back in September and I met with President Zelensky oh, okay. and we talked about how to bring more production to Ukraine, and this was the very topic. Um, and I hope we can. We did shoot, just so people know, we did shoot in Kiev. Mm -hmm. We did shoot um, for about two weeks in Kiev, and then we also shot for quite a bit in Pripyat and in the zone. So we were able to bring some um, some good, I guess you call it economy for Ukraine, but I would love for other people to bring more because it is a beautiful country, uh, the people are wonderful, and uh, there is uh, just every kind of architecture. It's it's beautiful. So here's hoping. We have a present for you. Is it the camera? Yes, yes, it's a good camera. It's a good camera. <laughs> we have to work, but yes. it's it's more. Uh, I don't know whether uh, have you already uh, visited the exclusion zone. I have. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, we have like a one licensed tour operator, you know, um, approved from the Ministry of Ecology, and here are the certificates, you know, to visit the exclusion zone. Oh, okay. Whenever you want. Yeah. It's I would love to go back. I, yeah. Or you can, you. you can give somebody. Yeah. Else. No, that's from, from, your, from your team. Yeah. You all the time. Thank you. This is amazing. And, and please pass along my thanks to, I think these are probably the folks we already um, spent some time with there. Uh, and they were great. And one of the um, one of the tour guides, like you, grew up in Pripyat and was able to sort of put a personal spin on it. Like when you walk by that, the grocery, the market, the food market to say, well, my mother would go here and she would shop here. And it was very meaningful. So thank you. I'm very honored. Thank you.